In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to start seeds indoors with just a few supplies and some Hudson Valley seeds. I'm TK with Hudson Valley Seed Company and I'll be walking you through the process. So to be successful at indoor sowing, you really only need a few things. You'll need some seeds that can be started indoors. You'll also need a good sterile seed starting mix. In addition to a grow light, you will need a watering can, some containers, and a heat mat for germination. So I like to pre-moisten my seed starting mix because I feel like it um, just settles into the containers uh, more easily. So I'm going to empty my soil mix into a tub and then I'm going to add water. So just Use as much water as you need to make the soil moist, but not soaking wet or too dry. You just wanna be able to squeeze it and it holds together. Once your soil is at the right consistency, you can fill your containers up and just lightly tamp it down and make it nearly level with the top. So I'm going to show you this cool container uh, maker. It's a paper pot maker and it comes with different sizes. I'm going to choose my size and then roll some newspaper around the wooden block, make sure it's loose enough, and then push down on the bottom so that it's all folded over and then I press into this tamper and I twist and then I pull off the paper and I have a paper pot. Once you have your containers ready and your soil ready, you're ready to uh, plant your seeds. So read the back of your seed pack, make sure you know what the growing instructions are or uh, look online. For example, sugar snap peas, you'll want to soak overnight before you sow them. And now it's time to sow. So you'll want to tuck your seeds in. Some people use a pencil to poke a hole, but I'm just going to use my fingers. A good rule of thumb is to put the seeds about two seed lengths below the soil surface, but some seeds do need light to germinate, so just make sure you check your uh, sowing instructions. And for the paper pots, I think I'm going to try the cucumber seeds. So we'll just open these up and you can see they're much tinier. Another good rule of thumb is to put two seeds per pot just to ensure a good germination rate. So that's what I'm going to do here. So once my seeds are in, I'm going to cover the seeds lightly with the seed starting mix, not too much. And then I will add a little bit of water. You don't want the seeds to be soaking, but you do want them to be moist and in a well-ventilated area. You'll place your seeds on a heat mat so that they will uh, better germinate. And then once the first set of leaves come up, you can uh, adjust your lighting so that it's closer to your seedlings. And that's basically it. Keep your seeds warm, moist, well-ventilated, and give them plenty of light to grow big and strong. For more growing tips, visit our website, hudsonvalleyseed.com, where you'll find our blog and lots of seeds, of course, and supplies. Thanks for watching.